Welcome to Worship in the Word. Today we're talking about the thing that should be preached. Jesus spoke about a certain thing that should be preached, and he did it in his uh, concluding words in Luke chapter 24, the last chapter of Luke. Uh, if you have a red letter edition, um, we're starting at uh, verse tw uh, 44, Luke 24 and 44, uh, and we're looking for the thing that should be preached. Go ahead. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Okay. Now this is a, this is a big thing, and uh, uh, sometimes the Bible uh, doesn't talk about the time duration of a certain teaching time that Jesus was speaking about certain things. But uh, in order to cover the territory of of how he fulfilled the law. The Psalms and the Prophets, that would take a pretty good session of time. Um, uh, I wrote a book called The Certified Messiah, and it relates to those, uh, the fulfillment of those three areas. And uh, uh, it, uh, one statistician said that. Uh, for one person to fulfill all of those prophecies would be like taking the state of Texas and putting silver dollars knee high all throughout the whole state of Texas and then being able to pick one silver dollar, identify one silver dollar out of all of that. It's, uh, it's, one to the seventeenth power. <laughs> it's uh, it's huge. I mean, the the so it it's definitely uh, miraculous the way he fulfilled all those uh, prophecies. But uh, it was said that he was going to uh, come out of. He was going to be born in Bethlehem. He's going to be out of the tribe of David. Uh, and it spoke about the miracles. Um, and I, I put as uh, the certifying miracle was the cleansing of the leper, which had not been done in the Old Testament. It was only uh, the only leper cleansed was Naaman the Syrian, which is a Gentile. So there was no Jewish person in the Old Testament that was healed of leprosy. So uh, chapter 14 of Leviticus, the uh, chapter on the cleansing of the leper that was never or ordained or fulfilled in the Old Testament until Jesus came on the scene. So we have all of these things. And uh, go ahead, read verse the next verse. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Okay. So, in the scriptures, everything is about Jesus. Uh, the Old Testament, I don't really like the name Old Testament. Uh, uh, the, the early books, I prefer to call it the early books of the Bible. Uh, the, the law, it's called Torah. Torah really means teaching. It's teaching with an accountability. The Bible says, if you will obey me, then you will be blessed. Uh, Deuteronomy 28. However, if you choose not to obey, then by default, the curse comes in. So we see all of these uh, books, uh, the, the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, others, they all talked about the Messiah to come. And uh, the 
most current books of the Bible, when he arrived, uh, relate to his ministry, uh, the gospel, uh, the good news. And uh, uh, so, uh, go ahead. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. Okay. So, uh, the disciples didn't understand it. Even Peter rebuked Jesus uh, for saying that he was going to the cross. Uh, and uh, Peter rebuked him, and Jesus re rebuked Peter, said, Get behind me, Satan, because you don't understand the will of God. So it was God's will to go to the cross to be that sacrificial lamb so that we could receive freedom from sin and, and be reconnected with God because he is the author and bishop of our soul. Okay, go ahead. And that repentance and remission of sin sins should be preached should be what preached should be preached okay the thing that should be preached is repentance and remission of sins we hear a lot of things on on uh, by by christian preachers today on the media on radio uh, on tv on on different venues but we don't hear much about uh, repentance and remission of sins. But that's the thing that Jesus said, I want you to preach. And this is what we're preaching on this podcast, repentance and remission of sins. Because this is, uh, you'll hear people talk about what is core Christianity. Core Christianity is about uh, the opportunity of individuals to be reconnected with God, and they have to do it through repentance or teshuva. Okay, go ahead. In his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Okay, so uh, Jesus commanded his people to preach uh repentance, and he would have been speaking Hebrew, he would have used the word teshuva. I want, he told his followers, I want you men, uh, women, I want you to uh, speak about and preach about teshuva, about repentance and remission of sins, because this is what the gospel is. It's, it's our opportunity to be reconnected and have us be freed from all of the the garbage of the past go ahead and ye are witnesses of these things and behold i send the promise of my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high okay so it's all part of his divine plan that, number one, that we would desire, we would, our heart's desire would be that we would be uh, set free from our past and that we would hunger for the love that God has for us and that we would respect his name and, and respect his word and uh, seek him out. And, uh, and when we do that, he provides uh, teshuva. He provides repentance as that avenue. He said, come to me, and I will not cast you out. Uh, cast your burden upon me. Take up your cross and follow me. All of these things. Uh, he's he said he's waiting at the door for you. And he will cleanse you from all of your sin. He will give you a, a, a new name. Maybe, maybe you have a bad reputation right now. But he's, 
He's the one that can turn the reputation around from, from bad to good. And you will be known, he said, and you are witnesses of these things. You will be a witness of his power. And he said, not only will you be a witness, he said, I'm going to endue you with power from on high to be witnesses among all people. God bless you. Thank you for listening to us today. If my people which are called by my holy name will humble themselves and seek my face. If they pray, if they pray, if they pray.